guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is daniel rosal here i want to do a video about a backup workflow for uh, video creators who are out there on the road producing video whether you're maybe just you, in any any circumstance you're out of your usual home office location your you know your whatever your home base is uh, and either you're shooting video or uh, you're just on vacation but you want to you're producing video while you're there and you want to keep your uh, video backup workflow going. So I've done videos about video backup. Backup is a huge uh, long-standing interest of mine, um, even though it's admittedly not the sexiest top, uh, topic and video is a newer interest of me. And when you're creating video, uh, you end up producing quite a lot of data. So I've recommended before the uh, Synology Network Attached Storage, NASs. I own the DS920 Plus and it's really an integral part of my backup uh, procedure. And if you own a uh, Synology NES, you actually have pretty much everything uh, that you need in order to get a 321 compliant video backup workflow, even if you're not on location. Yes, you can bring you know, um, external SDDs uh, and storage with you on the road and back up to that, but you can actually, if you have a good internet connection to use, uh, while you're in that remote location, you can actually do everything uh, with your existing gear. So I want to just uh, do a quick diagram. I love this software, uh, draw.io. They have a nice little Linux client. Um, I'm just going to use a few clipart logos in order to explain uh, what this workflow would involve. So this airplane represents you in whatever um, lovely part of the world you find yourself in that you're producing videos. And let's say you're a YouTuber, so you are pushing your videos up to YouTube. So this much is pretty simple. You're on your remote location and you're creating YouTube videos. So you're going to be uploading your videos to YouTube as represented by this arrow. Now that's um, as anyone who's into backup knows, you can rely on YouTube for backup purposes because YouTube is going to be compressing your video. And even if you extract your video from YouTube, which you can do, you're extracting it after YouTube's compression. So you always want to keep your originals. So I don't recommend uh, storing them on whatever you're bringing with you on the road. Let's say it's a laptop. So if you have an NAS at home, then you can actually use Quick Connect. So let me uh, bring in our NAS or the representation of the NAS. So from wherever you are in the world, this is actually going to be a pretty simple video because it's, I'm not really explaining that much, but I'm just trying to show how the, how the moving parts can fit together. Now, what you're going to use here is Quick Connect. If you don't, if you don't have Quick Connect um, enabled on your Synology, then uh, it's definitely worth setting that up now so to have it ready to go before you go. The beauty of Quick, Quick Connect is that it doesn't require port forwarding, so you don't need to change your network. Synology have a whole white paper where they explain exactly how this works. It's a little bit complicated, but it uses something like a relay service. So basically Quick Connect is going to make your NAS available from the wide area network, right from outside your home network. So that's one way to get it there. So you can do, um, firstly put up your videos to YouTube or wherever your videos are going. And then you can also push that file to your NAS using Quick Connect, but that's not all you can do. For backup purposes, for the 321 backup rule, I'm just going to randomly plot some text here. 321 backup rule, as any backup aficionado uh, knows, it requires that you have uh, three copies of data, two different, uh, sorry, two backups on two different media, and one backup copy off site, right? So we want to have our data is going to be on YouTube. We have our on-site copy that we're creating here by pushing uh, the file to our to our NES sitting on our home network. So just important, uh, ideally have your NES on uh, something like a UPS, or um, you know just make sure it's online while you're on the road um, and that your network's up and everything should work perfectly. And the final icing on the cake here. Let's see if we have a cloud icon here. I imagine we do. Yep. And then. All you need to do is when you get into DSM remotely, you want to um, upload your videos to some volume on the NES that is connected to, um, to, to cloud storage. And this is going to be, I'm just going to copy and paste this via cloud sync. So this can run automatically, okay? So whether you're using, uh, the one I use personally and recommend is uh, Backblaze's B2. So I'm just going to put their logo here. 
you can use S3 or any cheap object cloud storage. So this is just, just to quickly um, reiterate what I'm doing here. You're on the road, you're producing video. You can bring with you, uh, you know, stuff like plug in external SDDs and do all this stuff when you go back from your trip. Or if you have a good internet connection to work with, by which I mean a decent upload, because you're gonna be pushing data through the cloud here, then you can use the following workflow. You can, after you uh, upload your video to YouTube, you can use Synology Quick Connect, DSM Quick Connect, uh, which needs to be set up beforehand. Uh, so do that before you go on your trip and uh, test it. I just tested my Quick Connect because I'm going on a trip soon using a cellular network and was able to remotely push a file onto my NES. And then um, you want to upload your videos into a folder that's connected via cloud sync with an automatic backup rule that whatever you put in that folder is going to be um, automatically replicated to the cloud. And this is going to give you, I'll just put it in text here, your offsite backup. And that's pretty much there is all there is to it. So if you already own one of these great uh, devices from Synology, you already have cloud sync set up, you already have your offsite backup set up in somewhere like B2 or S3, uh, then you're pretty much set to just go and you can just go with your laptop, do your video work on the go and everything set up. All you need to do is push it into your uh, the folder on your DSM and all the 321 compliant backup is gonna be taken care of and you can get back to your home and everything's already backed up perfectly. So if you're into backup and you want a way to do a remote backup uh, while you're on the road and you own your Synology DSM, then uh, this workflow should work out pretty nicely for you. Hope this video was, uh, was worth your time. And if you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.